Hey, how we doing, everybody? Welcome to the latest edition of Spooky Story Time with Mr. Spoon and my friends. With it still being the month of October and us getting closer to Halloween, you know I picked out another spooktacular book for us to read this week. So as always, my friends, let me get that drum roll, please. Our story this week is the good, the bad, and the spooky. Ooh. Look at that, see the bad seat there. And our authors are Jory John and Pete Oswald. So let's get going on the spooky story here. I'm in a bad mood. A bad mood. Oh, yeah. It's true. Oh, he looks like he's in a pretty bad mood to me. You want to know why I'm feeling so crummy right now? Huh? Do you? Well... It's Halloween, which is my favorite holiday. I wait all year long for this very evening. Oh, look, are they sitting on boxes say costumes and Halloween stuff? But listen to this. I don't have a costume yet. Look around. Nothing works. What a travesty. Oh, can't find anything he likes. Ah! Man, he doesn't look happy to me. I promised I didn't wait until the last minute. I've been thinking about costumes for weeks, and I honestly gave it my best shot. This is whoop. Oh, he's getting hit down the head by a foot. For instance, I've already tried dressing up as a ghost. It says, bonk, I can't see. And a vampire, I can't talk. And a robot, I can't move. Everything looks so uninspiring. It turns out that putting together a perfect, original, show-stopping costume is basically impossible. Hmm. Halloween used to be so much fun. My friends and I would all get dressed up together. Oh, the memories. You can hear yourself. Oh, sigh. One year, we were a rock and roll band. Oh, they're called the Seedles. The next year, we went as our favorite condiments. Oh, look, ketchup, mustard, and relish. Ooh, just like I like to put on my hot dogs. I don't know about you. Oh, and then there was the time we went as a carton of eggs. We were cracking up all night. But things change as they often do. Time marched on. We all got a little older and a little more independent. And I just can't shake the feeling that everybody, and I mean everybody, is going to outdress me this year. After all, I live on a sunflower in a field where everyone takes Halloween very seriously. Very seriously. You have no idea. No idea. Oh, look at some of their costumes down there on those sunflowers. See, how can I compete with that? Oh, it looks like she's a princess. And that. Oh, he's a cowboy. And that. Ooh, a ladybug. And what the heck is that? I just can't stand it. Oh, look, it's a diamond suit. And that is why I'm in a bad mood. A bad mood. With a bad attitude. Here he's saying, sheesh. Oh man, he does have a pretty bad attitude here. There is only one thing I can think of that will even things out. I need to trick everybody into thinking Halloween has been postponed until tomorrow night. Yeah. Then I'll have a bit more time to get my costume together. Excuse me, out of my way! Oof! Coming through! Hey! Pardon me! Seat on a mission here! Oh man, he's not being nice, he's pushing people. That's not being very kind. Attention, everybody! Um, let's see! Um, there's a big thunderstorm on the way! That's right! A storm! Uh, and also, uh, squirrels! 
A herd of seed-eating squirrels is racing toward us. Yikes, watch out. Squirrels and rain and thunder. Not a good combination. So for your safety, please head home this instant. We'll resume Halloween tomorrow night. This peanut saying, gosh, that sounds spooky. Bummer. Oh, man, that's not being very nice. Let's see? There, that should do it. No more competition, no more hurt feelings, and most importantly, no more costumes. What a relief. Mm. Man, this is not being too kind, Mr. Seed. I beg your pardon? Yes, what is it? If I be, may be so bold, it seems like you're not enjoying yourself this evening. As a fellow seed, in fact, as a pumpkin seed, I know all about the pressures of Halloween. But listen, Halloween is about more than costumes and candy, Mr. Seed. It's about crunching through the autumn leaves. It's about decorations. It's about togetherness. Oh, that pumpkin seed kitty, he's being pretty kind helping him out. And it's all about community. Look around. This is all supposed to be fun. But nobody really cares what you're wearing. We're just here to have a good time. Look at us. We made these costumes in about five minutes, and we're having a blast. Just something to think about. Goodbye, Mr. Seed. Oh, that kitty cat pumpkin seed, they sure have a great attitude. Sheesh. Is it possible that I've overreacted? Maybe I have too big of a deal out of something trivial? I suppose I have been taking my bad mood out on everybody else today. Maybe nobody's really paying attention to my costume. Perhaps Halloween doesn't need to be a competition after all. Huh. Here he's saying, hmm. I've made a big mistake, but maybe it's not too late. And here he goes, gulp. Oh, hmm. let's see if he can fix his problems here. Oh, attention, everybody, me again, and I have some good news. Halloween is back on. There's no storm after all, and there's no squirrels barreling toward us. This was a big trick. Get it? Ha 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 ha. You may continue getting treats now. This one says, yay! Hooray! It's candy time! Oh man, oh man. <clears throat> I've made a big decision. I'm going to worry less about things that I don't really matter. Not just on Halloween, but on other days too. I just needed somebody to talk some sense into me. Now I'm not in such a bad mood anymore. And I don't have such a bad attitude anymore. As for my costume, well, I'll figure something out. Oh, look, looks like he's going to make his own costume there. Ooh, that's a good idea, Mr. C. Later that same Halloween evening. Hello again. Check it out. I'm a squirrel. Pretty spooky, right? Boop. Oh, spooked you there. And, um, if you have the space, I'd love for you to, love to join you. Of course! You see it? It doesn't take much to have a good time on Halloween. Oh, that's being such a nice friend, letting them join in on their trick-or-treating. Wee! Oh, man, looks like they're having a blast out there. Well, Mr. Seed, I'm glad you finally got in the spirit of Halloween. And we haven't even gotten to the best part of the night yet. Take a look around. Ooh, and it's a spooky corn maze. Ooh, that looks spooky. Wow. Now that this is a treat, a treat for everybody. Indeed, Mr. Seed. Indeed. Ooh, look around a carousel, carry a Ferris wheel there. Ooh, that looks spooky, but fun. Happy Halloween to us all!
Oh man, look at that. And that's the end of our story. You like that story? I know I sure like that sh story. It just goes to show, no matter what, my friends, Halloween's more about your costumes and the candy. It's about having fun with your family and friends and enjoying the time together. But my friends, until next time, pick up another book, read, 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 and I look forward to reading you another spooky story soon. Have a great day.